Good boy. Touch. Touch. No, touch this hand. Good boy. Sit. Let's lay down. Up. Sit. Down. Sit. 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 Oh, I was supposed to get the treat. Oh. Ah, yeah. ah. Good boy. Speak. 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 Touch. Touch. <laughs> What is up? Ah! Oh. <laughs> what is up, everybody? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are going to be doing a little bit of a difference. Uh, I always say that. I always say something different. But today, we're doing a one-year review of like what we think about Austin after living here for a, a year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If you don't know already, we decided that we're going to stay in the same apartment we were in before. So we just renewed our lease um, just by the time we accounted for like moving fees and all that. It wasn't worth it. Plus, we really love the location we're in. It's so close to work. So we're happy where we are. We're going to stay in the same unit and everything. Um, yeah. So to celebrate our... Full year in Austin. <laughs> As if this isn't an every week thing. <laughs> we are going to Shipley's. And if you don't, uh, of course, if you don't Shipley's watch, is still the best. If you don't watch the channel, we hype up Shipley's way more than like Round Rock Donuts. Um, we have been to Round Rock Donuts and we're going to make a video about going there because nobody, everybody always comments like, you have to go to Round Rock Donuts, it's better than Shipley's, but we have been. Oh, and well, it, maybe we need to go round two. I would say like right. Shipley's beats it by far so I don't know maybe we have to go again and try try it one more time I don't know but we have been there but today we're going to Shipley's we just got to um Shipley's but look at this it is 11 50 wait wait but well, it is 11 55 we woke up extremely late today we're normally here at like 10 or 9 Ashamed. yeah but it's right there so let's go get some Shipley's you opening them out here wait don't open yeah just wait till we we I'm got we got the goods. You can kind of see them. You're gonna drop them all. <laughs> I know. The best thing about Shipley's is I can just go in and I just say, I'll have one of each of your sprinkle donuts because they have five different kinds. So you just get all, all five and then you get plus one. We always do a dozen we go in and check, check this out. Boom. You cannot tell me that what is the other one? Round Rock Donuts looks as good as that. I've never read this. Yeah, it's like their life or their like story, but yeah. Service, hospitality, integrity, passion, leadership, energy, yummy. Okay, so we're gonna take these. So we're gonna take these to Mueller Park, which if you all watch our videos, you know like kind of what that is a little bit. But we're gonna head to Mueller, um, except we're all, we're probably gonna eat each one in the car right now because they're so good. All right, we're here at Mueller Park. If you guys haven't been and you live in Austin, you definitely should check it out. This is a giant open area, a big water like pond thing right there. They do a market here. It's pretty darn cool. Wednesday Wednesdays nights. and Sundays, yep. We have our Shipley's ready to go. We're gonna start the one year review probably here and then maybe finish it up at home depending on how, how many donuts we wanna eat. <laughs> <laughs> the back and forth has got me so messed up. Don't ignore the signs we've had enough of the whole damn thing that we got going. Okay, not gonna lie, I already ate a donut, and so did she. It was, it's, it's only been like ten, five minutes, but. Um, my first thing that I would say about after living in Austin for a year is you're never gonna find a place with more like outdoor spots to go see. Like for example, we're at Mueller Park right now where it has like a pond, it has a market, it has this cool grass area. There's Zilker Park, there's uh, McKinney Fall, like it, there's Lake Travis. It's, if you're an outdoors person, it's definitely a place for you. But also if you're not an outdoors person, there's just so much to do like in the city that I don't, I don't 
think it matters who you are, you're always gonna have something that you can go do um, and have fun with it. I think it's like the perfect mix of city and outdoor living. Mm -hmm. So you could choose, like if you wanna have a day where you're just indoors going to, I don't know, do all that kind of stuff. Or if you wanna go out and explore, hike one day, like you can literally do anything. Uh, another thing that we said last time, because we, we recorded this before, but I lost all the footage. Uh, well, one of the things we said last time is, it's a very in and out place so you'll meet people and they'll be gone in a year um you know people will move in but people also leave a lot so that's kind of like a weird dynamic that they have here and you just kind of got to get used to it i'm really excited to go on our next year in austin because last year we moved kind of in the middle of summer um didn't know a lot of people we were still adjusting we didn't know what to do around the city or outdoors so we didn't spend a ton of time like enjoying the warmest part of the year um, but already this year we've been going to the pool like every day which is so nice um, I'm excited to have our first summer actually knowing what's going on in the area I think it'll be awesome okay we're gonna head back because it's a little bit windy out here and it makes it hard to record anything so I'm gonna I have my shoes off but put my shoes back on get the donuts and head back home we did eat, eat three I ate three donuts how many did you eat two okay we ate five donuts total but Okay, we are going back to the car, but I t we're going to get coffee too because uh, we have not had coffee. Normally we get coffee with our Shipleys. Yeah. We did not today, so we're going to go to the little coffee chuck. They have like Compass. food trucks here. Yeah. So I kind of have this rule when you ask people about their business. Like if you all watch the channel, you know that we're super into startups and businesses, things like that. Anytime you ask somebody how they started a business, the people who started the business rarely have a good answer. They're usually like, oh, we just did this thing and then we started it and now we're here. Um, which makes sense why like there's podcasts where people try to like dig in deeper about like how they actually started them. But we just asked the people who started the coffee truck that we just went to how they started it. And it's kind of the same deal. They're like, oh, we just did it. We just yeah. bought the the camper and just started a coffee camper and that was it. Yeah, he's like, we were in coffee for like five years and we're like, I don't know, why don't we like make our own path, do our own thing? And then like, yeah, once you start like really asking, then people are like, yeah, we just love like, you know, make your own path, do your own thing. And then like, they get really into it. But the initial is always just like, oh, we just, we just started we did it. this business. <laughs> it was so easy. We just started a billion dollar business with no hope, except a million dollar loan. So when Brian has a podcast, Oh he's yeah. He's gonna do it. He's gonna start a podcast. It'll be dropping soon. It's a really Watch cool it. idea. You have it's to. It's gonna be about business. It's gonna be great. And, and yeah, that's uh, it. Spoilers. So, okay. so covering real quickly the last thing, because it was kind of windy. Um, Austin's a very like in and out place. You can meet people and they'll be gone in a year. I just always say it's a very transitional place. You come here to like find yourself, figure out what you're passionate about, and then I feel like whatever it is that people find, it often takes them to different cities or states mm -hmm. or all over. The other thing is it's very expensive. Um, <clears throat> I would say like the food and like that kind of stuff is pretty much average. You can find cheap places, you can find expensive places like any other any other city or any other like place. Um, except that living near the city is gonna be very expensive. If you're like in the city, at least three thousand a month for like a one bedroom apartment. If you're on like the outskirts of the city, about two thousand at least for like a two bedroom. And then if you're like beyond that, it's just like anywhere from like fifteen hundred to like a thousand, kind of yeah. maybe, depending on what you get. You but. really have to weigh like how much does location matter to you, and when it comes to amenities, are you actually going to use them? So like a big thing for us this year, now that we re-signed our lease is we're like, okay, if we're gonna be paying this much for an apartment, we are gonna take full advantage of all the amenities. Mm -hmm. Every time our apartment has a little like party, game night, whatever, like we're gonna go to all that because um, you're paying for it. Yeah. So something I love about Austin and one of the things that actually brought us here is, oh, hey dude, um, is the startup scene and the like love for local businesses. <laughs> so what's great is if people have the chance to like shop or support local here, they will. Mm -hmm. And I really, really love that. It is a great place to start a business. There's so many people behind you telling you like they believe in you, you can do it. And it's a very, very positive place to start a business, small or big. Big or small. It doesn't matter what order it goes <laughs> in. Okay, another thing that we definitely learned while being here for the past year is Austin is a very like uh, non 
car place. Uh, if you have a motorcycle, if you ride a bike, if you ride like a boosted board, if you take, scooter. <clears throat> if you scooter, you can like take the train or the tram. Like all these alternate like modes of transportation are very, very popular. And I'm sure it's like that in like every major city, but here especially it's like, oh, you drive a, you drive a car, you, you use gas, <laughs> Is your, your car's not electric. It's, it's very like, um, are they like, you don't bike 75 miles a day on the biking's weekend? Biking's big. Yeah. Um, a lot of companies will actually pay for your Uber credit mm -hmm. as long as you do like ride share. The Uber, Uber pool, I think it's called. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Which parking's <laughs> expensive, so honestly, sometimes driving mm. isn't worth it. Um, yeah. We're fortunate enough to where, to where we work, they pay for us to have a parking mm -hmm. pass downtown, but even then we carpool in together because we're usually, when I work downtown, we're there around the same time anyway. Um, oh, pro tip, if you are parking downtown, this is something that people, for some reason, don't no, I guess. I don't know. We just never really did the opposite. But if you're parking downtown, always park on the street. Never park in a lot because the lots will charge you like $10 an hour or something like that. Yeah. And the street parking is like 25 cents every 30 minutes. Like Honestly, it's, yeah, if you can find somewhere to park and then just scooter the rest of the way. Never park in a lot you'll save or a, a lot building. Of money. <laughs> yeah. Try as, as hard as you can, try not to do that. Uh, um, there are some pretty cool resources for people who just recently moved to Austin or if you just kind of want to know what's going on. There are so many different Instagram accounts with all the things going on There's in Austin. Too. There's a website, it's do512, and it'll just show you everything going on like week by week um, that you can mm -hmm. participate in. We found a lot of really cool events there that we still go to. Uh, my last thing that I can think of, and you might have said something kind of similar, but when you're in Austin, you realize that all these people who seem like fake, not like fake, but like unrealistic people that you'll ever meet or people that seem out of reach to you are here. So like there's dozens of Instagram and like influencers here with like 100, 200, 300, 400, like 800,000 followers. They live here in Austin, usually all in the domain is pretty much where all of them live. It's a, um, a great place to <clears throat> network. One other thing that I feel like we've learned, or at least that I... I feel like I, I've learned. Like, oh, she's yeah, watching. Like she's watching Trader Joe's hauls because she's gonna do one later. Probably. You're not going to now. Probably not. Why? She was gonna go to Trader Joe's and do a. We need groceries. <laughs> Anyways, uh, super random, but they charge extra for things like bacon and avocado, which like in Michigan they don't do that. I think it's like a trend that's starting to like. Maybe we get charged for avocado, actually, like getting avocado on our food, but we definitely don't get charged for bacon. I don't know. I, may, I don't know. Maybe we do. It just seems weird to me, but that's something that I, I noticed. Also, everyone eats really healthy here and is outside all the time. Uh, yeah. Lots of, like, health buffs. This is our office, by the way. Yeah. It's Super messy right now. pretty nice. That's Scrappy's foof. He has claimed it for himself. You can really be whoever you want to be here. Um, it's pretty judgment free in Austin, which is cool. Like people wear what they want, hang out with who they want, express themselves how they want. And it's not seen as weird. It's just like, you do you. Even on the main strip downtown, there's like 4th Street, which is just a ton of gay bars. Um, and it's just super normal here. It's not like, I mean, we definitely have like pride parades, those kind of things, but it's so normal just to walk down the street and you just see like, just, People of all sorts, people with colored hair, tattoos, uh, gay people, like anything that you can imagine is here and it's not weird. So if you're somebody who's like uncomfortable with that for some reason, it might not be the best place for you because you're probably just going to be irritated all the time, I feel like. So you have to be comfortable with people being comfortable with themselves, mm -hmm. um, which we see is really cool. Yeah, we, we love that kind of thing. So for us, it's super cool. Austin is very casual. So if you go downtown, a lot of cities I feel like that I've visited, you're like downtown, people are headed into work, they're very suit and tie professional. In Austin, like nobody looks like they're about to go to work. <laughs> um, I don't think I see suit and ties like ever. Maybe a few law firms will do that here, um, but it's very techy, startup, young crowd, people are wearing shorts and a t-shirt. Yeah, people are very casual, graphic tees and shorts. No real dress code.
Um, so if you have any questions about that or any questions about Austin in general, feel free to ask in the comments below. We're usually pretty responsive about that stuff. So yeah, let us know. Um, and yeah, like I keep saying in the videos before this, we have a ton of cool stuff coming up with uh, Haley's birthday, then her sister is visiting, um, and her sister's boyfriend. And it, it'll just be a really, really cool time in the next couple weeks. Make sure you all stay tuned for that. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. Feel free, like I said, to ask us any questions about anything. And uh, maybe stay, well, if Haley posts a, what is it, Trader Joe's haul, we'll link to that. But I don't know if she's, she's ignoring me. So we don't shop there. But I was gonna do like a first time shopping at Trader Joe's haul, but. We never shop there. I don't there. really know that it's worth it. It's very bougie and we just go to H-E-B. <laughs> also, uh, one last thing, H-E-B is like your favorite place to go. It's like an amusement park. So if you live in Austin or Texas, you know what I mean? If you don't, you, you will if you ever live here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.